on the line from Abuja. I heard 92 people jostling for 23 seats like you told us yesterday when we spoke to you. Now, how is it going? Thank you, Veronica. The thing started about midday, and um, all the delegates, most of them are here now, and um, members of the People's Democratic Party, their past leaders, and former presidents, you can name it, they are all here. But without wasting time, let me, I have the governor of um, Ekiti State, that is His Excellency Governor Ayo Dele Fayoshe, with me. And I, I refer Fayoshe is what, a governor that has been interested in the activities of the People's Democratic Party, and his name has been propping up at any given opportunity. Thank you, Excellency, for joining us. Thank you very much. All right, sir. When you look at the, today's convention, how well organized do you think this convention is? Well, you can see it's uh, very physical. We can all see that the convention is well organi organized. Nobody is shut out. Everybody that is supposed to be here, we are here. And I want to believe Nigerians are behind this uh, party and they believe in this convention, they believe in the success of this convention. A lot of, time, a lot of people have been talking about you and Governor Jason Wiki saying that you, uh, we, the two of you, you're trying to force a particular candidate on the PDP. How true is this, sir? Well, there's no point joining issues. When you are a major player, you should expect anything, and or, or, or everybody could say whatever they like. But one thing is, they can't take it away from me that I have stood up for this party as I went to you. I have paid my dues. I am one of the uh, if not the longest serving Nigerian governor, I have uh, been very clear and I've uh, stood my ground as may be necessary. Whatever anybody says is not important in the issue. What is important is that we do the right thing. We've done the right thing and I believe really Nigerians know that I don't compromise. I don't say things when they're not supposed to be said. I've made myself very, very clear, very explicit. So I believe Whatever I'm supporting, whatever we are supporting today, will be in the overall interest of the country and the PDP at large. Some of the aspirants stepped down yesterday, and some are still stepping down as at the time we got to this convention. And they are still talking, Chief, but they just spoke about microzoning. Why didn't your party microzone the position of the chairmanship to the Southwest, since a Southwesterner has never occupied that position, Your Excellency? You see, I want to respectfully appreciate Chief Bode George and all the leaders of the party for their contribution, for what they have uh, given to the party. But there's no denying that these are belated excuses. Everybody signed undertaking with the party. They have severally gotten to where they are supposed to be, and they said it expressly that they believe that the chairman is zoned to the south. They've said it by themselves severally, and going back at this minute will be very disturbing. And I have personally called the aspirants in the southwest more than five times, the last was two days ago in my uh, lodge, to appeal to them, one of you should please step down so that we can change, the game can change, so that we can streamline the process, so that we can have a say. But we can't we can, we can make it unwieldy. At the end of his day, those who say they can't step down are gradually saying they are stepping down. So I respect them, and I'm not going to join issues, but the, the Lord God knows the heart of men and knows that I've tried my best to make sure that we fight behind one man, one of them. But if that is impossible, what can I do? Finally, Your Excellency, 2019, are you sure that this party, after losing in 2015 to the All Progressive Congress, are you sure that this party can bounce back and reclaim the presidency? Without doubt. In PDP, you can see the organization. Nigerians are sympathetic to our cause now. They realize that APC has not done anything better. Nothing new has happened. Rather, it's all about hunger and hunger, killings. The killings in Nigeria in the, in the last two and a half years, three and three years, if you aggregate, it's more than the killings since the creation, since the independence of this country. APC claim they are fighting corruption, but they are looters. They are doing terrible things, and they are making it a family affair. They are covering their tracks, and they believe that they are, all they are holding on to today is power. If not, APC has gone as yesterday. 
wish you the best of luck. Thank you. That is the governor of Ekiti State, uh, Governor Peter Ayodili Fayoshin, and trust him ever, ever very vibrant, and you can rest assured that we, we always say his mind. But the bottom line is that while this convention is going on, we still have all the delegates. The delegates we have here, there are over 2,000 delegates from 36 states.